Okay, so starting out, you want to make sure you go ahead and cut that lace to your liking. I'm also adding makeup to make everything blend a little bit better. This is the cap that I use, and throughout the video, I'll be explaining my whole process. I will also be showing clips of my process and giving you full commentary. So please stay tuned and watch the whole video to see my experience. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just here to give my final thoughts on this nude fake scalp method okay so let me just start off by saying it was a fail <laughs> fail for me all right and it was it was just it just didn't work out for me um you guys already know that i have a video on the ball cap method y'all know that i don't really understand the ball cap, me cap method i don't understand why people do it i don't i think it's just an additional step some people seem to say oh they do it to save their edges but i don't really understand how it saves edges when i feel like it's more product and more like spritz on your edges how does that save them when you add more product i don't know child but anyway this new fake scalp method is supposed to replace the ball cap method it's supposed to be easier it's supposed to be more conventional it's just supposed to be you know what i'm saying better than a slice bread so i said okay you know i gotta try this because it was two people who reached out to me and they're like aaron look we need you to try this like we need to load down dirty sticks we need the real okay because we don't really know what's really going on behind the scenes <laughs> So y'all already know the way I test stuff out, I test it out like any type of normal, regular person that, you know, that's going to try it. I don't do nothing special. You know, I'm just going to do it and let y'all see, you know, how it worked out for me. Like I said, it didn't work. <laughs> I don't really get this method. I don't know. Are we trying to make it, make things harder? I mean, this is just very, very time consuming. Like it literally, I'm not even shooting you it has taken me all day to do this like i've been doing this i'm not joking i've been doing this for about three four hours okay and i'm just like okay where is this is this supposed to be easier and then the fact that i've been doing this for like three or four hours and then on top of doing this for three or four hours this not gonna last so every time you take your wig off you're going to have to do this method and do this step i don't get it okay and no disrespect to to the person who created this method i would try i will link some videos down below of people who have done it don't know who originated it i think it was the lady miss precious maria or whoever i don't know child i'm not trying to steal nobody ideas like i said i leave credit with or credit to this dude in the description box okay not trying to bash anyone but i'm sorry i don't understand it <laughs> what are we doing like it, I, I don't know it maybe it's me i'm pretty sure people gonna say i did not do it right or whatever i'm doing it just the way any other regular person would okay and i'm just letting y'all know my experience like it's just a long process like i, I it's a long process all right so <clears throat> let me kind of take you guys through kind of what i i was kind of confused as to how i was going to get the cap to stay on like the frontal part okay i was i was a little taken back because i was like okay so how does this work am i supposed to even though i only have a frontal like i don't i'm sure if you have a 360 you should spray it all the way around and then you know cut your cap like however you would cut your cap with a 360 i don't know but since i only had a frontal i was like i'm not gonna spray this this uh cap all the way around you know what i'm saying like my my hold on i'm not gonna spray my my cap all the way around because why so i said i'm just gonna spray my frontal piece i mean why spray the back part if that's not gonna be utilized you feel me so once i did that part all right so which i use my got to be free spray okay i did that it took me a while to like dry it okay because i did multiple layers so that the cap can actually stick to the lace so i'm like wow you know this is taking a minute and i'm thinking it's gonna be like you know something fast something beginner friendly because this is definitely not beginner friendly <laughs> um, but anyways um yeah it took a while for me to dry it so then once i got it all dry i cut off the additional cap that i wasn't using which was in the back so i only left the they only left the frontal piece that had the stocking cap on it all right so i'm like hmm and it looked a little weird it looked a little funky but i wasn't really worried about it or whatever i'm like okay i'm gonna make this work now one part that people are leaving out of their videos is that once you 
flip that wig back to the right side because once you're doing this you want to flip your wig inside out and you want to spray the cap like that but once you get your wig off your mannequin head which you will need some kind of mannequin to do this once you get your wig off your mannequin head and you flip it the right way nobody tells you that all your, the hair is literally stuck from this <laughs> okay so all the hair is stuck stuck laying down and if you know anything about spritz got to be free spray or whatever you already know that it's gonna cause a lot of flakes it's gonna cause a lot of white stuff like white flakes everywhere child i didn't know what to do i ain't even got nerves i said okay i didn't mess this up this ain't right <laughs> that's all i can think about like i don't i don't know what to do like i was gonna throw the whole wig away i'm not even gonna lie to you like because i seen all the white just like snowflakes like i had put powder in the wig and i said okay this ain't gonna work nobody even said this on their videos nobody said any of this and i was like okay well i cannot wash it because i just molded this cap to my frontal piece Okay, and you, if anybody knows something, this stuff is not water resistant. Once it hits water, it's over with. That's it. That's done. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, so what do I do? Oh, so I was like, okay, I'll try to delicately wash it. Girl, nah, that didn't even work. So I had to go in with a comb. All right, and I do this a lot if I use glue, if I use too much got to be glue. You go in with a comb and you can either take water or alcohol and you spray it on the comb or just run your water under the comb and you go through the hair and you comb it out, like comb out the flakes and things like that. So it's kind of like a, it kind of acts as kind of washing the hair in a way, okay? But you have to be very, very delicate. So I had to, I was standing in over the sink, like I kept wetting the, like the little teeth of the comb and I was going through and I was trying to comb the flakes out. However, that took forever because you have to be very careful not to get the scalp part wet because you don't want to mess up all the hard work you just did, okay? It just took you about an hour or two just to get the cap molded to the lace. Okay, now you have to worry about getting all the flakes out of the wig. And I'm just like, what? And it was flakes everywhere. I still don't even have all the flakes out. I mean, it may look like I have all the flakes out, but I don't. I just covered it up because, child, I went in with some of this um, this gloss spray. And I tried to gloss it down so it wouldn't look so dry and flaky. But it's still a lot of flakes in the hair. So that was getting on my nerves because it was just tedious. And I think I have a clip. <clears throat> Of me doing it it was just very very tedious and it was getting on my god dang nerves i'm like okay whoo so finally got the majority got the wig back to looking like something okay looking wearable because it wasn't wearable at first so after i did that i figured okay let me put it on okay it was difficult to put this wig on because i don't know if it was because I had already molded it, molded that cap to the lace. I don't know, but it was hard. I was putting it down with my, y'all know already, I love this and I got to be gel. I'm trying to put the cap down, put my wig down with my got to be gel. And it's like so hard and it's so molded into like the shape of my mannequin head. It's not even want to stay down. And in certain places, it may look like it's down. Okay, but honey, look. In some places, it's really kind of lifting up. But since I laid the baby hair, it doesn't look as noticeable and then not to mention it just didn't look natural like you're gonna have to go on with a lot of makeup with these okay or maybe a, a darker wig cap i mean a, dark, a darker stocking cap or something because you can definitely see i have clips of that too you can definitely see where like a lot of that cap was peeking through and it was showing through i was just like this ain't it. This, am I doing something wrong? I had to question myself. I had to ask myself, is this right? Like, because <laughs> I know. I be messing up stuff sometimes. So I was like, okay, maybe I didn't do something right. <clears throat> so um, in order to kind of cover it up, I went in with a little bit of makeup. And it, I mean, it fixed the problem. But 
I'm just trying to see if this is supposed to be easier. But anyway, I went in with a little bit of makeup to kind of disguise it a bit. And then I, of course, laid some baby hairs. Now, when it went to styling this hair, it was so hard to style it. And let me tell you why it was hard to style it. Because it was so much of this freaking freeze spray in the hair from you molding the cap to the lace. It makes the hair really hard, really stiff. And it makes it so hard to comb through. It makes it hard to um to use your hot comb. Y'all already know. So everybody loves the hot comb. Let me turn it off before I burn the house down. We all know that everyone loves the hot comb, but it, it made it super hard to use that hot comb and hard to style because the hair is so hard. This hair has like no softness to it at all anymore at the top. And this hair was really soft. So it's just, <clears throat> I'm just... It's just too many cons to this. I mean, if you haven't really <laughs> been right now, all of kind of the complaints that I've had, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, just, I, I don't know. Take it for what it is. I mean, this is what I came out with. This is what it looks like. This took forever. I just don't see how this is easier. I don't see how, well, first of all, I don't like the ball cap method anyway, but if I did the ball cap method, I would definitely stick to the ball cap method and I wouldn't be doing this mix. Okay, because I just, I don't get it. Oh, no. And then, like, when I watched people's videos of them trying this method, it was like, boom, bam. Like, they got it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no trials and tribulations. Like, they, it was easy. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze it. That's why I was just like, okay, so why is this not working for me? <laughs> like, I don't understand. So, it didn't really work. I just, when I give this, this a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I don't know. I would say try it because I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news and let people know, hey, don't do it and stuff. No, no, no. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to bash whoever made up this idea because I get it. You want something to be easier. You want it, whatever the case, whatever you were trying to do. It just didn't work out for me. But I want everyone to try it and see if it works out for y'all. Tweak it the way you want to tweak it and do it the way you guys want to do it. So I'm going to give it an in-between, okay? It did work for me, okay? For me, no. <laughs> But for everybody else in between, go ahead, try it. Sis, let me know how it works out for you. Come back to this video, you know what I'm saying? Put your commentary below and we can talk about it, you know? But at this point, I want to know how you guys feel. Will you even consider trying it? What do you think about it, okay? I don't know if some of y'all probably going to say I didn't do some parts right, but I'm saying, how do you feel? You know, what do you think? Oh, and I know some people are going to ask. I will leave the specs down below on this hair. This hair comes from a company by the name of Dream Bundles. So I will leave their information, her information down there if anyone wants to check out her site. And she does have sales going on and things of that sort. But yeah, no. It, I'm sorry. It's, it's just a no for me. I... I I'm sorry, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it just didn't work out, I mean, this is what it looks like, I feel like when I do my normal steps, my wig comes out better than this, it was even hard for me to lay my baby hairs, because the frontal was so stiff, it was just, it, I'm sorry, it was just a house, and I'm not trying to, I like to say, I'm not trying to be the very bad news, but, I'm sorry, it's enough, I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it at all, actually, I don't get it, and maybe it's just not for me to get, okay, <laughs> do you think it's easier will you stop using doing your ball cap method and will you switch to this method i need to know sis i need to know why or why not all right but anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and i'll definitely definitely see y'all see y'all in my next one